Good day, this is Cornell with Walker Realtors. I wanted to go over the home buyer, home buyer's remorse. Did you know that almost half of the home buyers suffer from home buyer's remorse? Yes, over half. Why? Unfortunately, too many people do everything in the reverse order. They start shopping for a home, they fall in love with the home, and they pull all sorts of strings to get a mortgage. Yes, they do this. Time and time again. They go through the home buying process from decision to decision, not knowing what they should expect next. That's not a recipe for success. So for the eager home buyer, warning. Buyer remorse is not fun, but there are ways to prevent it. I will show you how. So key questions to ask yourself before signing on a dotted line of a contract for a home. Does the home meet your need? Is the home within your budget? Do you like the neighborhood in the condition of the nearby homes? Don't want to own a pretty house with ugly houses around. Does the neighborhood have good schools, parks, amenities, shopping, ladies? Does the property need repairs? And if so, how much is the cost? Can I genuinely afford this home? Home buyers wonder, did I buy the right house? Did I overpay? What if the price drops? Is it the right neighborhood? And again, can I afford the mortgage payments? All sorts of, of scenarios pop up, and, that's, and this is just the beginning. So how do you buy a home without falling victim to buyer's remorse? You have to follow a well-planned step-by-step process with being surrounded by a strong team that you could trust of real estate professionals. Preparation is the key to avoiding home buyer's remorse. Do your homework and set realistic goals and expectations. Here is the main reason why people get home buyer's remorses, remorse and the way you can avoid them. Number one, you move in a house but you really, didn't, you really didn't want it. Perhaps the size of the home, the noisy neighbors, it may be that you just moved, but you, you have to replace the AC, the roof. You just moved in and you got these issues. Even if you fell in love with the house, when you decided to buy it, the love affair can quickly fade out once you move in and find out the home is not really what you remember. The love is gone. How to avoid this? Create a list, must have, nice to haves, must haves and nice to haves. When viewing homes on the house hunt, have a house hunting checklist. Use the list to make sure the home you want includes all the must haves on your list and compare each home that you view and how they stack up against each other. Spend at least 30 minutes or more, especially if you like the house, on each home, always asking questions, finding out why the seller is selling. How old is the roof, the furnace, the AC, the plumbing, the heating system? Asking the right questions and being thorough when viewing the home can save you a lot of money and aggravating, a aggravation at the beginning. Getting a home inspection, I know this market's hard, but getting a home inspection is like getting an insurance policy of knowing exactly the condition in which the home is. And right now, you could get a home inspection with the option to avoid. So I'll tell you a little bit about that if you want it. This will help you, you know, avoid expensive repairs. You don't, number two, you don't like the neighbors. Often buyers find it hard to pinpoint exactly what went wrong. But in a seller's market, which we're currently in, for example, many buyers get their offer turned down over and over again. They look for properties, other, other properties, because emotional, they forgot their original plan, rushed to buy any home. Then the buyer realized the mistake they didn't like the neighborhood, but it is now too late. How to avoid? Choose neighborhoods before you pick the house. Choose the neighborhood before you pick the house. Before you start the house hunting, choose three to five of your favorite neighborhoods and look for homes only in these neighborhoods. Find out, find out the rate of homes occupied, owned by owners first who's the renters. 
remember you can re renovate you can renovate the house but you can't renovate your neighborhood number three you continue looking for a house after you purchased your home <laughs> continue to view other homes after after you sell and you bought your your home is like going on a date with other people but being in a relationship fellas many people do it out of curiosity or to get renovation ideas the issue is that in the process many of these people end up falling out of love with their own home though they just bought it <laughs> how to avoid how do you avoid this no matter how tempting it is once you have bought your house stop looking unless you think the inspection is going to be unsatisfactory or the house is not going to praise and the deal is going to fall apart, fall apart. There's no reason to torture yourself by viewing other homes. Okay? Number four, you're not ready for home ownership. You're just not ready. The biggest prerequisite to buying a home is being ready to buy. Getting ready to buy a home is important as training before you go into the Olympics, basketball, football, Without training, you won't get far. However, during the however during the preparation stages, it might seem that waiting delay delays your goal of becoming a homeowner, and you might even think now is just as good as any time and decide to give it a shot. Hmm. Unfortunately, going for it without a plan can backfire and start you out on a path of financial ruins. How to avoid it? Check your credit and your finances. Make sure you have reviewed your credit. Also, check your finances and be sure your, in, your income is secure and reliable. Stick to your budget and never allow yourself to push your offer above your comfort level. You hear that? Don't go above your comfort level. The amount of your offer must be based on comps. Competitive market analysis paired by your realtor and don't go on future expectations of price growth. Okay? Number five, your agent is not supporting you during the closing period. Oh, wow, agent. It is the agent's job to assist you throughout the closing day and beyond. Some buyers experience problems finding home insurance or they have questions and doubts, but, but the agent is not around to help. So they have no agent. The agent's got their money and gone. How to avoid this? Know that buyer's remorse is a common feeling. Contact your agent and discuss with them your concern. Pick up the phone, call. Hey, I need this, need that. Want to make sure we're for the long haul. If you choose a good agent, hey, I'm here. The, the purchase transaction should go smoothly. Remember that it's the agent's job to look after your best interests. So use their expertise, their knowledge, our skills to your advantage by asking all necessary questions and getting the agent to do research work so you don't have to you so you don't have any surprises after the purchase is final. Number six, you don't have money left after you purchase the house. So after closing on a home, payment, the down payment, transfer taxes, closing fees, many buyers nervous. They get nervous because their bank account is empty, depleted, because they spent all this money to get in the house. So, wow, I, I'm, I'm just in, 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 a, in a bad position now. This can make any person nervous. So how do we avoid this? The amount you spend on house-related expenses should be no more than one-third of your after-tax family income. Follow your budget and do not overextend yourself. Take steps to rebuild your emergency fund. This may require putting off renovations or purchase items such as new furniture and appliances. Remember, well, remind yourself, the money is not lost, but is an investment into your new home. So in conclusion, the best way to deal with home buyer remorse is by avoiding the mistakes that can lead you to regret of your home purchase. Certainly buying a home can be stressful you, if you don't follow a plan and that can lead to home buyer's remorse. Before going ahead with an offer, 
it is important to take time to make sure the home meets all your requirements and that you have researched everything there is to know about the home, including the neighborhood, the condition of the home, the area amenities, and being comfortable with the price of the home. Follow your home buying plan and trust your instincts. If you have any hesitation about a property, that, that, you, that will, there will be a better home that you will find. However, make sure your judgment is not being clouded because you made the mistake to continue seeing more homes after you purchased your dream home. In most cases, home buyer remorse is simply a result of a feeling of uncertainty because you are outside of your comfort level and end up talking yourself out of liking your home. Recognizing that home buyer remorse is a common phenomenon and understanding what, why you're feeling this way can help you work through this. So I hope this was helpful. And just a reminder, to contact a lender and a realtor is the first start of looking for a home and this will help you succeed and you won't have to any of these buyer's remorse. I'm Cornell Walker with Walker Realtors. You give me a call when an average realtor won't do. Again, I hope this was helpful because I see so many times people have buyer's remorse and go through this uh, and hopefully you understand that if you do not put a plan in place at the beginning, this is what happens if you're just rushing. But if you know your how much house you can afford, you know your bottom line, you have everything lined up, you're not stressed, you're in control, you're in the driver's seat, you'll be fine. Have a great day.